Hey guys, this is part six of my video vlog. It's Bobby, and here's the continuation about Oticon. Now, we, um, while we were also there, I bought this. A Ghostbuster poster that I knew I had to get. Isn't this sweet? I saw it and I had to buy it. I mean, who, what other, what Ghostbuster fan wouldn't want to get this, huh? It was, I mean, pretty, it was pretty cool, and I knew, I saw, I knew I had to get this to hang up in my new room, which I will soon. But, um, like I said, we encountered, we saw all sorts, I took tons of pictures, um, we saw people dressed as various Pokemon, a ton of Pokemon. You could say a lot of people made an ash of themselves, as an ash ketchup. <laughs> Uh, one guy actually also gave Bethany a feather, and he was dressed as a character from Tsubasa. I believe Kurrigan. Um, I can't remember the character's name. So Bethany, if, wait, if you're watching this, um, help remind me what it what the guy's name, what, the, what the, that character was. We um, saw some guys dressed as Kickass. Uh, uh, well, uh, some people as characters from Kickass, movie I never saw. And uh, well, yeah, wide wide array of anime. In fact, there was this one guy there. I managed to, I could tell right away what he was, and when I was telling either Bethany, I think it was Bethany or Melanie, I can't remember who, well, one of the two Sakuras I was, I was walking around, hanging out with. <laughs> Sorry, girls. Anyway, um, I identified him. The guy said how how happy, he told me how, that it was great that somebody was able to tell who he was, because he was dressed as the Black Flash, which is the Grim Reaper, or in death for speedsters from the Flash comic books. And he said a lot of people thought he was a Black Lantern, which involved super intelligent zombies, apparently. I did some research on on the various lanterns um, last week. But, you know, it was, it was, I, I, mean, I thought it was pretty cool. And, I, and while we were there, I also passed out a ton of business cards for Powers United 1 and Worldwide Pokemon and Duel Academy. In fact, I ran out of all three. I passed out a few Power Ranger um, business, car uh, business cards for my co forum, Power Rangers United. And only a co few for my Common Rider forum. In fact, um, in, in fact, it wasn't until like day two that I finally saw some fellow Common Rider fans. Melanie and I were just chilling out in the hallway waiting for Bethany, and I saw like, this guy wearing a paper mache Rider belt, and I quickly went, Common Rider! And gave the guys a business card. In fact, um, since then, I actually gave my for Common Rider forum a face look better than Joan Rivers. <laughs> I don't care. In the words of Larry the Cable Guy, I don't care who you are. That's funny right there. But, um, yeah. It was just a, a life-changing experience because it felt great to be amongst people like myself. You know, fellow geeks, diehard fans of anime, movies, video games. Oh, I might have... Beth we also went to a... Um, this panel thing for a voice act, a guy who, for a voice actor that Beth and Bethany waited, got in his autograph. But while she waited in line, uh, Melanie and Robert and I went and got some got something to snack on. And oh yeah, I forgot we also saw a ton of ghost guys, a bunch of guys dressed as Ghostbusters. So I had to get pictures of them because you know I'm a lifelong ghost head. But you know it was just overall an amazing experience. I'm gonna go next. I'm definitely going next year. In fact, Mel Bethany and I are already. And I, Melanie, Bethany, and I are already playing in our costumes. In fact, um, the three of us have agreed that on one day we are going to go dressed as characters from Pokemon. Melanie is going to go as Dawn, since she bought a Piplup while we're, doll while we were there. Bethany, since she has a Glaceon, is going to go as May. And once I get a hold of Pikachu, or Pikachu plush, or since I have these guys in my collection, Terry Twig, Weasel. I might... I'll, I'll go as Ash. And I'm also hoping to go uh, another day as um, Common Rider O's. I've got the perfect clothes for it that match his main form. I just gotta get the Rider belt. Uh, which I, I, I gotta find. So if anybody knows where I can find it for a really good good low price, you know, like, without the shipping um, under 50 bucks, please help me out. And um, while we were there, also, I got the inspiration to create a brand new forum. In fact, about a week later, I finally I created it after thinking about it. And it's called the Otaku Kingdom. If you're interested in checking it out, the link is down below in the description, guys. 
Yep, it's it got all sorts of sections. For, we got um, an area called Kingdom Warriors, which is for you know warriors that fight. Um, you know, like Gundam, Naruto. In fact, also I forgot when we were at Otakon, we encountered a girl dressed as Sakura from Naruto, but from the recent from Naruto Shippuden, Melanie was Sakura from the original uh, from from the first like couple seasons of Naruto. So we got a picture of the two of them together, Sakura past and present. But anyway, um. We also, and we have Kingdom Magicians for anime like, um, like, like Yu-Gi-Oh! and Sli and uh, Slayers. And, oh, and my Melanie and I spent the night at Bethany's house. We were, and we were only there for two days. But, like I said, life-changing experience. But anyway, Otaku, um, the Otaku Kingdom also has a foreign land section for American, uh, for American cartoons. And you know what? This ends part five. And I got more to go, more to talk about. 